Hey friends, it's Catherine with uh, Yeti, the Subaru 2018 cross truck. And uh, we're changing out these super sad, sad, sad uh, dash speakers. We're gonna replace them with a nice pair of infinity reference speakers. Let's get out of the bag. really pretty not that that's what the thing is about them is is that hopefully they sound better so infinity sent some little crossovers that I have previously um, soldered up so we've got a quick slide connection on one side and the other side is just plain uh, wire so I'll show you what we're gonna do here after I get the uh, speaker grill cover off. All right, back in a minute. I'm feeling this is a little bit easier on the passenger side where the steering wheel wasn't in the way, but we'll show you guys the, the hard way. I pushed in the steering wheel all the way so that um, I can have maybe a little better access. And on the other side, I use these two screwdrivers hold on for a second the dash material is kind of soft so if you push it down you can work your screwdriver in there and then someone on the interwebs suggested wrapping the screwdriver with black electrical tape. That had limited success. I should hear a little pop. I'm going to get these open. Don't force it. your interior. Put you on hold for a sec. Okay, now it's coming up. And it's out. Ta da! So now we've got to remove two screws. The first one you can get with your socket. They're not in there any more than finger tight. I'll just use the socket itself. the back one really isn't more than hand tight because there's not even enough space to get a socket back there with the with the ratchet on Okay, so now we're just going to lift that out. And the next trick is to get the factory socket off right there. It did take a little finagling on the other side and use of my small screwdriver. Oh, 
No, it's much easier. I guess when you've done it once, it gets a little easier. So, once again, the sad little stock speaker. Okay, so here you can see I've got the crossover that's prepped and the pigtail for the neutral connector and we're just going to hook these up um, by sliding them into the stock connector. On the passenger side we had a pink wire and a blue wire and over here on the driver's side looks like we have a purple wire and a gray wire. So that's interesting. So Crutchfield says that the left front corner dash can be violet along with these other colors and the negative can be white, pink, black, or blue. So we're going to go with violet first for positive. This is a little tricky but I think I'll probably be able to see what I'm doing if I can see what I'm doing. just sliding that wire, which is a larger gauge wire than the speaker wire, um, into the connector. And where did my negative pigtail go? There it is. Just twisted these so they're as small as possible. Let's slide it in there. was tricky on the other side too. I'm just gonna turn you guys off while I like, finish this. Don't know if you guys caught that, but we just turned it on. Sorry, the Bluetooth uh, interrupted the camera but um, we seem to have the polarity right. Looks like the pink for positive, or I'm sorry, lavender for positive and white or gray for, for neutral or negative. So polarity is good. I'm gonna wrap this back up. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm just cutting a couple pieces of electrical tape to hold the wires into the stock connector. as pretty as the other one. This is awkward angle. Okay, so there you have it. It's all done up in a little tidy-ish little package. Um, hopefully that will uh, be fine. And now I'm going to put it all back together. That solder is a little bit sketchy, but we're just going to go with it for now. It's not that hard to take these things out of here. Push the wires back down in there. Oh, we forgot one thing. I forgot the little sticky stuff that goes around the outside.